Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the New York Times Hard Sudoku for Wednesday, March the 6th. My aim is, when I do all these things, is to solve the puzzle for my own enjoyment and hopefully teach you how to solve some of these hard Sudokus using the techniques. And hopefully I'll inspire some of you to do it without making quite as many pencil marks as I like to do. So the first thing I like to do, as far as education, is to point out that I scan by top three rows, then the middle three rows, and then the bottom three rows, and I do the same left to right by columns. So in the top three rows, I have no repeat digits. That means I can't even place any other digits in any of the other rows and the other boxes to point for a third option. So I have to look at the middle three rows next. I have some twos here, so the twos in the corner of row four. If two wasn't there, I'd have one seven six five oh, one seven six five eight nine eight. So eight in row four and five, five and six can be in one of those two in row four, but can't go there because this eight looks up. So eight is placed in box five. This eight and this eight and this eight now team up to place an eight there. This eight and this eight will team up to place an eight there. Okay, that's as far as I get now. In the rightmost, in the bottom three rows, excuse me, those sevens and that seven will place a seven there. These two sevens are going to place a seven there. Okay, one, one will place a one here. Eight I can't do anything with. Okay, this three and this three actually place a three there, how convenient. Seven we already placed, and that's six, one, eight, nine, two. Okay, one, and this one, one can go there. Okay, the middle three, uh, eight's there. That's all I get. In the rightmost three columns, these two fives, force a five in one of those two because this five rolls that one out. This eight and this eight will force an eight, one of those two. Okay, I think that's all I get now. The good news is, when I look at the next phase of scanning, I have a lot of deductions I can make easily. These three are a triple in box four. There's only three digits left. Four, five, six. And this one actually sees 5 and 6. Now 5, 6 along with 3. That gives me 3 digits there, but unfortunately I don't get much to go with it. I need to look at row 4. I have 1, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I need 2, 3, 9, and this sees a 2. Either of these can be 2, 3, no, this can't be 9. Okay, so I'm left with a triple here. Let's see. These five cells are not 2, 8, 9. Let's see, these aren't six by box logic. That sees seven in this column, that sees five. Okay, all four, three of these see five. Four, seven, and that's not helpful. This will probably be even less helpful. Two, three, eight are removed. C six, seven. This sees 5, 6. This sees 6, of course, as well as 1. Oh, that sees 1. 4, 5, 9 by column. This just sees 5, that's it. So I better look at those two. These cannot be 4, 5, 8, 9. OK, 
okay, this can't be 1 or 7, and this can't be 1 or 6. Now, if I look at column 7, there's only two spaces for 1, both of which happen to be in box 6. So 1 is definitely here. So the, the, that virtual 1 and this 1, this 1 ruling that out combined, one of those is a 1. Which combined with one of these being a 1, and these being a 1, combined to force those two not 1. Okay, 1, 3, 5, 7, 8. It says I need 2, 4, 6, and 9. To fill out row 7. And that was not helpful. In the least. Okay, these two are now one, three, six, seven, eight. Two, four, five, and nine, but I only get rid of four there. That doesn't help. Okay, three, four, five, six are ruled out of this column. Not one, not eight, nine, not eight. And those can't be one. Oh, this is eight, nine only. It can't be one or seven. And this is. Oh, that's interesting. These can't be 8, and those two can't be 8, right? And these can't be 8 because of this. This is an 8 because of that. This, unfortunately, could be an 8. 1, 2, 3, 7, 9. 4, 5, 6, 8 is still possible. We don't know whether 8 goes there or whether 8 goes here. Let's see, one, two, six, eight says four of these is for the even digits, then one is out, three is in, seven, nine are in. Three, five, seven, nine, because these can't be one. Okay, those are. One, five, or eight. These are not seven or eight, but that's it. That one's also not seven or eight. still has seven candidates. That's annoying. And these aren't seven or eight, or one or five. Okay, these are not three, eight, nine. These are one six eight nine. Those aren't five eight nine. Uh, that's a two three four six quad, I think. Yeah, those can't be nine, and this can't be nine. So where does 9 go? Here. <laughs> In column 8, that's it. That's the only space for it. So that's not 9. And none of those are 9. Four, 
Hopefully sick this could this could still be six, I think. Okay, the two, three, six and something. Eight. Yep. Let's see. This one happens to see. Two, three, and six. That is an eight. Three is out, six is out, eight is out. All right, what's left? Is that a hidden digit? Uh, one, two. Three seven eight nine one two three six seven eight nine. Okay, this is four or five, and uh, that might be a hidden four. I think it is. Yeah, it sees five six and seven eight nine, doesn't it? That's a hidden four. Six. It sees four six eight. That's a f that's a five. Two eight. Uh, nine, four. Okay, this is going to resolve itself relatively quickly, I think. Let's see, that's a one, two, seven, triple, and the left third of the grid is done pretty much entirely. Uh, nine reveals are four or nine. Let's see, cleaning this up. Uh, this eight and this eight, we're forcing eight there. This has six looking at, so that's a two. Okay, this is down to a four nine, which means that can't be four or nine. And it's got five looking at it from the row. So it's a three. Five, six, okay, that's a one and two, so this ends up being six. And so these aren't six. Oh yeah, that's forced to be a three, and that row's done. Get rid of these ones. So the bottom three rows are done. Uh, three looks up. This is seven. That's going to start doing a number on box two, I think. Uh, this five and this five will force a five on one of those, but these two are out by given fives. Five good box three goes at the top right. Uh, two and something. Uh, this two and this two will force a two one of those, but this two rolls that out, so this is a two in row four. Uh, that can't be two, can it? Okay, three nine pair. This is a three looking at it. That's a nine. Hmm. Nine, which makes this three. Not three, not three. Uh, two, four, six, that's a triple. So that points at a three here. This has to be nine. Uh, three in row one makes that seven. Let's see, seven makes this two. This is a one seven, but that's four. Okay, these are down to one six, so this can't be four or six by pair. That's a two, that's a three, that's six. These are one and six. Those are four and seven, which 
means this is a one, that's a three. So these aren't three, and this is this is collapsed. It's only a margin at this point. This sees seven and two, that's a one, that's a seven. Two looks left. Four, six, two is done. This six looks right. One and six are done. Okay, this four nine interacts with that four nine, doesn't it? But that's not five. That's not four. That's not one or nine. This isn't one or four, and but the two in column four looks down. One, two, one comes back. Four, five, nine, four. Four, nine, seven, one. Seven and row six looks over. Four and seven are done, and that's it in not quite 16 minutes. This, I thought, was relatively straightforward. I'm not proud of the fact that I had to fill in the entire grid, but after that, it was simple scanning. There were like two areas in the top three rows where hidden digits were, and once that happened, everything else collapsed. There were enough other candidates with only two or three that this was relatively easy. And thank you for joining me this morning. I hope you learned something.